morning everyone. Here we are in Nashville, Tennessee, going to the Country Music Hall of Fame. We're gonna go check out the special Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson exhibit. Now this place is massive and there's no way we're gonna work our way through all of it today. I don't even want to. I really wanna focus on looking for that exhibit and seeing anything to do with my favorites. Waylon, Willie, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, you know, that crew. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Country Music Hall of Fame, doesn't it? Let's go explore. Oh, an Emmy Lou Harris exhibit. Let's do that first. Check that out. That's Emmy Lou's 1962 Gibson. Said she acquired it early in her career. Used it for her songwriting tool. Look how much wear there is right there. Probably a lot of uh, from her fingers, like her fingernails. See where her fingernails are there? And then there's Graham Parsons music for her thousand dollar wedding. Those were her lead sheets when they were recording it. There's Sleepless Nights. She really took that over. Someone recommended her and he heard her voice and loved it. But when she came to join the band, they were a total mess and she forced them to rehearse and become a good band when they recorded. That's her outfit, look at that. And of course, made it nudies, thanks to Graham Parsons. And this guitar right here is Emmylou Harris' first guitar. Her father, Harris, gave it to her in 1965. An old K. Actually, it says her grandfather gave it... Actually, it says her grandfather gave it to her for Christmas. And then that says this guitar was Graham Parsons' owned and played 1963 Martin before Emmy Lou got it. Wow, Graham's guitar. That's kind of cool. And there she is with that crew, Graham, right up here up top. And there's Emmy. Emmy Lou. Never got to see her live. That's one I really need to see. Emmy Lou and the Hot Band. Look at those boots. And then look at her guitar. That's awesome. That Paisley guitar. It says for their last date, Harris's 1982 live album, she used this 1968 Fender Telecaster. And it says that she used it to play Buck Owens' famous song, Buckaroo, and that James Burton, who also played for Elvis and Graham Parsons, was the guitar, pair, guitar player in the hot band, and he gave this to her as a gift. Emmy Lou's hand-tooled leather guitar strap. That's pretty cool. And her 1955 Gibson guitar. Man, that's very beautiful, isn't it? Look at her jacket. And then that's not quite a nudie jacket. That was made by Manuel. That was his protege. So it's kind of a nudie jacket, but not necessarily specifically. And it says she wore this on the album cover of the trio. Her record with Dolly Parton and Linda Ronstadt. And this was her dress that she was wearing when she was recording Wrecking Ball quite a bit. They said in uh, New Orleans, Banana Republic dress. And there she is wearing it. That's her silk beaded dress she wore. She performed Wrecking Ball in the Grammys. Enough said. That was for Duo of the Year with Rodney Crowell. And here's some more of her outfits. This was her 2018 Grammy outfit. And then that was also made by Manuel. And there's her tunic. And it says that this guitar was Graham Parsons' guitar until he gave it to Emmy Lou, and this became her main guitar. So he, he actually gave her two guitars. That's a really cool one, too. Made for her Elite Hotel album. Now this whole exhibit is to the Judds. We're not gonna hit that. We're actually gonna go down second floor to the Waylon and Willie. Well, actually, I gotta show this guitar because that's Jimmy Rogers' guitar, and he was a legend. I mean, an absolute legend. Some say it really all started with him. There's a picture of him up there wearing that conductor's hat. One of his kind of signature things. And that was Jimmy Rogers' Underwood typewriter. There's Gene Autry's guitar. Look at the neck. Every time I turn the, the camera like this, it's because it, the neck usually says their name. And then Tex Ritter's saddle. John Ritter's father. 
inducted in 1964. And those are Roy Rogers boots. Oh wow, those are Hank Williams boots. Custom made boots with the music notes on the tips. And then that's his suit. That's Johnny Cash's stuff, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis. Check this out. It's Elvis's blazer. And then both of these guitars on the end belong to the Everly Brothers, who were the uh, the two guys that told Buddy Holly to wear the horn rim glasses. They were on tour together, and he was wearing those wireframe deals. And they're like, Buddy, those are kind of out of style. Why don't you why don't you just go all black? And he went with the horn rims. I'll show this red jacket for my grandpa. He was a big Jim Reeves fan. That's Jim Reeves' jacket from his LP, A Touch of Velvet. That's what he's wearing right there. Now this is Webb Pierce's Nudie Mobile. Nudie customized quite a few of these for people. Buck Owens had one that he lost, or that he won from Elvis in a card game, they said. And then Nudie had one for him, his wife, and there's Webb Pierce's. We've actually seen pretty, pretty much inside of a lot of these. Everywhere we went, they've let us look in. And you, you can see there it says Webb Pierce in chrome right there. And then there's a shotgun up there. <laughs> there they kept the door open in Webb Pierce's as well. And this is Elvis's gold-plated Cadillac. Oh, let's take a look at that. They even kept one of the doors open so you can take a look in. Wow. Let's see, like a gold telephone in there. Wow, pretty cool exhibit. Those are all Chet Atkins guitars. Mr. Guitar. Look, a Hee Haw exhibit. How awesome is that? Those are all clothes from Hee Haw. David Steinberg's. Grandpa Jones. They've got his uh, doctors, whatever those are called. Junior samples. There's his overalls. Oh wow, that's Hank Williams D28 Martin. 1944 Martin. It says after he died, the guitar passed into the possession of his family. It was handed down to Hank Jr. who kept it alive by using it in his music. That is really cool. It's really neat to see so much Hank Williams stuff all over Nashville. I had heard that quite a bit of stuff was sold after his death, so it's floating around. There's Bill Monroe's mandolin. Godfather, the bluegrass. Bingo. Oh yeah, look at that handsome devil. And this is producer Owen Bradley's office. Pretty much picked up and moved the whole thing here. He did a lot of people's records, including Jesse Coulter. There they are. Look at those two. Brothers from another mother from the same state. <laughs> Holy cow, look at this bunch. Yeah, um, one of the people that was heavy in this movement people don't ever talk about is this guy, Shel Silverstein. If you were a kid when I was a kid, he was like the author of all of the greatest poetry books. These little kids' comical poetry books where the sidewalk ends and a light in the attic and all that stuff. That's Shel Silverstein, uh, Bob Beckham, a young Chris Christopherson, and Chris Gantry. Look at this bunch of outlaws. Graham Parsons, Frank Zappa, Waylon Jennings, Willie, John Lee Hooker, B.B. King. And Willie did something really awesome in Outlaw. He used to throw a 4th of July picnic with all of his buddies. Now these are all paintings. That looks like a drunken Willie with short hair laying out in front of Tootsie's Lounge. <laughs> getting thrown out of Willie Nelson's while the place is on fire. I told you guys a little bit of that story when we were at the Willie Nelson and Friends Museum. He wasn't home when the thing caught on fire. He was actually out playing a gig and they called him and he just 
He said, yeah, just park the car in the garage. <laughs> It's a handwritten poem to Chris Christopherson from Johnny Cash, April 7th, 1973. Now that guitar is really awesome. You know what that guitar is? That was the Marathon guitar. That was the guitar that they used to keep at Sue Brewer's Boar's Nest that we just talked about. So it says, every artist from Harlan Howard, Waylon Jennings, Chris Christopherson, Roger Miller, Willie Nelson, and Shel Silverstein would use this to create the best music ever to come out of Nashville, said Waylon Jennings. It was all written right there on her floor. And it says that there are multiple signatures carved into the guitar. You can see Webb Pierce, Johnny Darrell, Dallas Frazier, Farron Young. Here you can see Dallas Frazier's like right there. And Willie does the same thing. Willie has people sign his guitar as well. And uh, they do it with like ballpoint pen to carve it in. The Boar's Nest guitar, that's really cool. And those are some of the lyrics from me and Bobby McGee that Chris Christopherson wrote. And this is an utility shirt worn by Army Captain and Airborne Ranger Chris Christopherson. He resigned commission in 1965 and moved to Nashville. Now this guitar is pretty cool. This is Michael Murphy's guitar, also known as Michael Martin Murphy at one point. And he used this to write Wildfire. That was a great song, right? That's Jerry Jeff Walker's denim jacket that looks like he did his own nudie suit idea too. They mentioned him in Lucan Back, Texas also. And his boots. It says that this poncho up there was Towns Van Zant's. And that's why in the corner it says and lefty. And here's the Armadillo World Headquarters movement. You can see their uh, their calendar and everything. And Willie was a big part of that. And then there are some lyrics from the song Home with the Armadillo. And here's some great Willie gear. There's a custom made hat, and if you look at the hat band, you can see the WN right up there by the Lone Star. Here's his trademark bandana. He still wears them, but he usually wears the cowboy hat over it. And his running shoes, mid 70s running shoes. And an old ad for Willie. There's the shirt from his first picnic that he threw. And what's funny is when he when he wanted to do it, he asked all of his buddies, and he's like, "Hey, let's just throw a big picnic, and we'll uh, split the money up later." I forget which performer it was that was a part of this. Said, "Yeah, none of that money ever got split up," and he started laughing. <laughs> there it is. Damn proud I was there. And then that ring is Willie Nelson and the family's gold ring with diamonds made for the group's harmonica player, Mickey Raphael. And those are Mickey's harmonicas and case. Mark Erlewine built this guitar for Willie Nelson in the shape of a Lone Star Beer logo for Willie's guitar player. <laughs> Jody Payne. That's a really great jacket. And you know when we were in the Willie Nelson and Friends Museum we saw that cape that he gave Paul English. This is another one that he gave Paul English. Paul was his drummer. So... <laughs> Apparently he liked his drummer to look stylish. Here's a picture of him wearing it too. Oh man, and this is the dress of Jesse Coulter who's just got the sexiest voice ever, probably for a woman, I think. She was Waylon Jennings' woman and an amazing musician in her own right. In fact, I think she's working on a new album now. Yeah, I'd love to meet her. And there's Waylon's platinum record for the Outlaws with Willie and Jesse. It's a great, Great piece of work. And then here's one of the Waylon Jennings signature guitars from Fender. You can see uh, they put about half of that little cowhide thing that he had on his, and it said it was modeled after his 63 Tele and um, has his du Flying W logo inlaid on there, which you can see right there. And on the headstock, a flattened Scruggs. Um, you can kind of see it on the back. A little button back here that you could flick it and it would have uh, take the guitar to banjo tuning. And then right at the very top, it has his signature. And then that is Waylon's shirt. That is awesome, man. What an amazing musician. And his hat. No brown vest, though. That was another one of his trademark looks. And there's Waylon performing at the Armadillo. And then that one is Waylon and Billy Joe Shaver. 
Jesus is Gas. And then this little outfit right here was Jesse Coulter's that she wore on the cover of her album. That's the way a cowboy rocks and rolls, 1978. Isn't that awesome? Waylon and Willie's Grammy. Best country performance by a, a duo or a group in 1978. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Don't let them pick guitars and ride in old trucks. Just let them be doctors and lawyers and such. Now this is all Glen Campbell stuff. Those spurs are what he wore in True Grit. And then this lighter was given to him, and it's engraved from John Wayne. Let's see if we can get it where you can see it. Who was in True Grit, of course. And his hat. And that is Ray Charles' jacket back there. Who did a really great bunch of covers of country songs. Did them his way, they're incredible. I think we can take a guess as to who this belongs to. Dolly. She wore this at the Grand Ole Opry in 1969. And this guitar was Johnny Cash's guitar, his Farrington. That's a really cool guitar too, look at that. It's all cracked up and everything. And that is Charlie Pride's tuxedo. And then all of these awards are for Roger Miller, who was also part of that whole Boar's Nest crew. Look at that, they have Graham's nudie suit. Wow. Look at the naked ladies on the lapels and the lips and he turned the lit like flowers that look like lips. And then there were like narcotics and uh, <laughs> quaaludes all over the, the arms and pot leaves and, and that's what he's wearing right here. I have wanted to see this my whole life and I never could figure out where it was. Who had it? Now we know. Look how tiny he was, man. His legs and everything, they were just really, really tiny. And there's Graham wearing that suit again. And this is amazing too. This is Bob Dylan's Nashville Skyline album. And I remember hearing Johnny Cash talking about how Bob Dylan was hanging out with him when he was working on that. And that's uh, one of the guitars that was featured says Charlie Daniels used this mid-1950s Fender Telecaster at the recording sessions of Bob Dylan's album Nashville Skyline and Self Portrait. And then this is Hank Williams Jr.'s shirt, which is neat because it's all leather. The whole thing is made out of leather. And then beneath it they have some of his boots that match his dad's that we've already seen that are on display here and they're the only difference is really that they say junior on them see they've even got the music notes and everything and that is charlie daniel's guitar and the famous fiddle i'll check this out this is george jones suit stage costume made by nudie and this guitar is Loretta Lynn's. Her husband gave it to her in 1961. And then the gown was Tammy Wynette's. Some call the first lady of country music. And then this belonged to Tanya Tucker. And then this crazy, amazing looking guitar. <laughs> it says at the very top who it's for by the, by the designer. Do you see that it says? Michael created for Johnny Paycheck, Tobias. So book ended. And then if you look at the, uh, take this job and shove it. It says big song. And then this outfit with the cane belonged to Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Wow, look what I just found. The bandit's car. That is awesome. We'll see that when we make it over to that side. There's the bandit. Take a look at that. I know there's like a bunch of them. 
In fact, they're having an auction right now in Beverly Hills at Julian's, or maybe by the time this airs, it's already come out, but or it's already been sold, but a ton of Burt Reynolds stuff from his estate, and one of the things that they're selling is one of his bandit cars, and it was the last one he owned. Kind of blew through all the new country stuff, but I do like Tim McGraw, so I'll put him on there. That's Tim McGraw and Faith Hill stuff. That's Reba McIntyre's dress. There she is wearing it up here in this photo. Now let's check out the rotunda and then we're gonna head out of here. So you got Dolly Parton right there. Little Jimmy. Porter Wagner. Sam Phillips. Merle and Johnny. There's Willie. Good old Buck. Elvis, of course. And the Jordanaires. There he is. Patsy. I want to see Waylon before we take off, and I don't see him yet. Where are you at, Waylon? I see Tex Ritter. All the highwaymen so far, but Waylon. Oh, I missed him. There he is. I say, you gotta have him in here. And we will definitely be back. They have three full floors, and I really only vlogged like half of two floors, so yeah, we'll be back. Nice merch shop. Very nice merch. You can even buy guitars. <laughs> All kinds of Willie Nelson books, too. The Tao of Willie. Oh, hello, look at that shirt. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I a Stetson man? Well, my friends, we are out of here. Have a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.